Hello HP Touchpad users, great news. Today I want to tell you about a fantastic new Android 4.4.2 KitKat build for the HP Touchpad. This one brought to us by developer 602, the new kid on the block, bringing back Android Open Kang Project. Yes, bringing sexy back. This is a great ROM, come check it out here and thank developer 602. He's the new guy, show him a little support. Come on down to Roots Wiki and say thank you. Here are the download links for his builds and the gapps as well. He doesn't give you all that information, uh, but I've got it all listed in my thread, so we'll pop over there in a sec. Of course, come down here, thank him, let him know if there's any issues, anything that's happening that you might be able to help inform him and improve. Now, as always, for a full install guide, you can check out my new super easy way guide. Now, this is using the touchpad toolbox, JC Sullen's latest creation, which makes installing data media builds super easy. Come check it out here. You got your full video thread with all the detailed information. And of course, we scroll down and we will get to my ROM guide. And of course, we have 602's build right here at the top. And let's talk about the details about it. Now this is a fantastic build, I've been personally using it out for some time, it uses the 3.0 kernel, it's Android 4.4.2, and we may get an update in the future. It has some very low battery drain, it actually has the lowest battery drain of all the builds I've currently tested. Now there's a slight margin of minus 5 MA, whereas all the other builds uh, showing the lowest drain are around minus 6, but every little bit counts in my opinion. Now you get some very nice solid battery drain during sleep uh, with the average usual kind of spikings that go up to 20, which I've seen kind of more commonly in the KitKat builds. Could be our battery slightly dying on our touchpads, results may vary. Now the camera works just fine, Bluetooth is working well, able to connect my uh, both my keyboard and my mouse and use them fine. And it has the inverted volume controls like many of the other ROMs. And there's full screen by default, so there's no navigation bar, which is kind of interesting to see. And we'll talk about getting that back. Now, when starting the ROM up for the first time, you'll notice right away that the navigation at bar at the bottom is absent. No problem. We simply swipe from the top, go to Settings, look for the ROM control menu. And we may need to swipe from the left if it's not visible, but there's a hidden menu, and we simply go to the Navigation Bars tab. Go to settings and put a check mark beside enable navigation bar and it'll just pop up. There it is again. And you can navigate around like normal. If you prefer to have no navigation bar, you just get rid of it and keep it absent. Personal preference is very important. Now our next important note about the ROM is connecting with the USB cable to our tablet using a Win 7 or Windows 8.1 machine. Now you may find that when you connect it, it says there's no driver, it's not connecting properly, a little error message. Not to fear. Simply go back to the settings menu. This time we want to scroll all the way to the bottom of the list for the developer options. Now we'll scroll down a bit and we will get to USB debugging mode, which already by default has a check beside it. Simply unselect this check and the tablet will reboot itself. Don't panic, this is perfectly normal. After rebooting itself, we'll be able to connect normally with the USB cable and we can just forget about that error message. So just a quick fix for you out there using Win 7 or 8. I've found this to be a very solid ROM. I've been using it for some time. You can get the details on all the various builds for the HP Touch Ad right here in my forum thread. Get all the details. Note they are subject to change as I test and review them again. And I will be going over them all in time. Now an important note is for pretty much every ROM, if you go down to my troubleshooting section, you'll find notes, fixes, and tweaks. And there's an FAQ section right here at the top. And this is kind of the most important questions that people just keep asking. Now a very common one is using Flash with KitKat builds. It's a little different than previous builds. Now here's the instructions. First we're going to need to install the hacked Adobe Flash player. Now this is all offered by the Dolphin browser. And then we're going to need to download the Dolphin Browser plus the Dolphin Browser Jetpack plugin. Now these are all right from the Dolphin Browser. Here, let me just open the links for you. You get your Flash from this download link here. Install the Dolphin Browser itself with the Jetpack plugin. Now you'll have to use the app for the first time and enable the use of Flash. Now people have been complaining, oh, I can't do this, it seems sketchy. Well, that's because there is an actual Flash port. It was removed since much older ice cream sandwich builds. So. Fix your flash content, get your fix here. Now another important fix that we get very <laughs> frequent questions about is the Netflix fix. Now you'll need to follow the instructions here in this forum thread. Check it out, it's all here. Check the instructions. Uh, you might want to keep the older build that's installed here and disable the updating. Please follow whatever the current instructions are for getting that working. You can get it working, but you'll need to do some extra steps. Check it out all here. If you want, you can use an older build where it will work more readily, but you'll want my regular easy way guide and get something like Signage and Mod 9. It has official flash support, Netflix and everything works properly there, no workarounds. 
totally up to you. Here's additional fixes, tweaks, information, how to save extra battery life, what to do in certain circumstances. Check out all the detailed information in my forum thread. It's your full, complete what to do, how to do it, and help guide. If you get stuck in a boot loop, bricked, anything, come check it out here. Leave a question and a comment. Someone will get to help you very soon. Promptly, most likely never tells or myself. Come check it out. Now we will be reviewing all the various builds here, so please subscribe to see all the latest updates with the HP Touchpad, and check back here for all the latest information and to see what ROMs are available and which ROMs are compatible with JC Sullen's incredible Touchpad Toolbox. Thanks for watching everybody, see you in the next one.